Bang, bang! How's it going, everyone? I'm Feathering MF555, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the N64. Alright, last time we started the game, we got our horse stolen. Uh, Skull Kid turned us into a Duka. It sucked. <laughs> and yeah. So this time we're gonna go and do some things. We're gonna gather some Pokemon here. Yeah, if you're excited for this part, definitely share support by hitting that like button. And if you don't know exactly why I'm playing this game right now, it's because I'm hyping up anyone who's trying to pick up the remake version. So yeah, if you're planning to buy that remake and you want to watch, enjoy me playing this game, just definitely enjoy it. I'm all for the classics and not the new versions, but... Okay, I thought my audio was turned off. Hey, buddy. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Duca scrub. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easy. I can't just tell you what the code is. You have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yep. Alright, line up, guys. Who knows where they came from? If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? This is easy. I know where all five of these kids are. I failed to hit them. Ah, oh, you got me. Now there are only four left. Good. Hey, my money. I can grab more. I'm gonna stop that with money. Okay. Let's see. Hang on, there's something I gotta do. Okay. Sorry about that, I was having a little annoying audio thing there, and I was kind of getting annoyed by them, so I didn't want to hear them. You're not gonna hear anything, I don't think. But I don't want to hear them except for Alright, where's the third kid? Now no, there's no one in South Clock Down. That's the last time we got attacked by uh, my dog. Wait, wait, hang on. My spot, that's my turf. This is my private property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. I've already sold out of my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return it to, to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Gear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you got one, I'd really like to get it from you and my wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my, dupe, my spot here. Duke flower included. I don't have it right now. Do you have one? You have a Duke? You're a Duke scrub, so you know how convenient a Duke flower can be. If you don't hurry, I'll give it to another Duke scrub. The early scrub gets the nut. Oh, jeez, dog. I gotta hurry up. I got until tomorrow morning. So I should still have enough time. Well, we haven't been in East Clock Town yet until now. So. One kid and there's the other. Let's get up here, let's get in there. And let's fly. Hello, child. I am coming to kill you. Let's <laughs> walk up to him. Oh, yeah, let's go up here. Jump down. Nah, ha! I just chase him down. That's, that's how you do it. Oh, well, he didn't even move. Wow, loser! That kid shouldn't have been using a freaking Coco. They could attack. They attack all the time. Ah! Uh, oh! Ow! Ow! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, where's West? This should be West. I'm not good with my North, South, East, South, East, West junk. West Clock Town. Yeah. 
I can't even dig up. Ha, huh, no way, you finally got me. What do you mean, finally? I just got here. You're pretty good for a Duca scrub. If only you were human. Then I could give you an original original bomber's notebook and make you remember. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. I guess not. Once we let some kid who... Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, though. So play, pay close, close attention. I cannot read today. Are you ready? So, 41325. 41325. 41325. 41325. 41325. I just went the wrong way. 41325. Go this way. I'm coming, kid. Oh, you're right there. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. Four, one, three, two, five. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. A lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh yeah, and um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. So weird. It's about to turn night now, and I should really hurry up. Oh, it's night. Night of the first day, 60 hours remaining. Until death. Okay, let's go up here. I could not pop that thing there. Up, 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 up. Okay, well, we're here. This is the astronomer's house. Or observatory. I wonder how the astronomer astronomer knows the skull kid. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. Child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the bombers gang? Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> Is that like Freddy Flop? Oh. That ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon steer tear. There's no stopping him. Even now, just watch him, he's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of looking at things. You got the beach area. You got the swamp. Right there. You got a mountain that looks like Death Mountain. But we're in Terminal, so. It's go good. Moon. Why do you not, like, freak out about that? And he's trashing us. <laughs> well, did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon tear has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that opens only on the eve of the carnival. How am I supposed to make the fun for this game? I think it's so difficult to do. Let's 
this is like. Not is the one of the lunar rocks that has been blazing from the surface of the moon. They fall from what looks to be the moon's eyes, or call them moon tears. They are rare stones valued by many in town. There's my thumbnail. Of some sort. Thumbnails are going to be very hard to make in this game. I'm not going to be wanting about that. Let's head out here. That was enough time. You got the moon steer. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. It's gonna do a full 380. 380? What does that mean? Let's just head back in. Could the trouble be- oh, never mind. Well, guys, I would think that's it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, gotta wait a second. Okay. Never mind, no, okay. Now it's okay. I hope you guys really enjoyed this part of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It was definitely fun playing with the Bombers gang and getting the secret code to go to the astronom Astronomer. I can never say that word today. And we found the Skull Kids hiding out on top of the clock tower, and we got a Moon's Gear, which we'll give to that Duke Scrub in the next part. But that's the next part, so if you like this part, definitely show your support by hitting that like button, and subscribe to my channel for more The Legend of Zelda and the Majora's Mask. Thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.